I'm going. Hey, hey, Tango with Sue here, new Sue review. I just said seconds earlier, Agnes, we're two minutes late. Agnes, we're two minutes late and Nick hasn't texted us yet. Guess what happened when I said that? Guess what happened when I said that? As soon as I said, Nick hasn't texted us yet. He ding, up. ding, ding. <laughs> You're the best. So let me tell you something about IPAs. They hit you. Oh my God. <laughs> Agnes and I started an hour ago because we had a bold and brazen live. Oh my God. Seriously. It's pineapple. I thought it would be a fruity girl drink. No, I can't even Sorry, taste girls. the pineapple. Sorry, girls. I can't even taste the There's pineapple. There is no pineapple in here. This is... This is like a shot of pineapple liquor. Can you hand mm -hmm. me that glass over there? I'm sorry we were a few minutes late. We have Thank a live you. studio audience today. She doesn't want to be on camera, but that's okay. We love her anyway. She can do a woo woo from yeah, the back. Well, yeah, okay. can you go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there we you go. go. We gave her beer. <laughs> this is going to be fun. You guys, <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm so happy to be back. Me too. Um, I was at the beach for two weeks. I was gonna go live from there, but then um, I'm with like nine, a party of nine. Oh, okay. Mom. So your sister, your mom, sister, your husband. Yeah, yeah. Your his, their two kids. Yeah. And then your husband and yeah. your two kids. Uh huh. No, no fur kids. No, not this year. We brought Blue last year, and she peed all over the floor. Of the oh, rental. No. Nope, nope. Got a got a pet sitter for Blue. Uh, this year, um, but no, it was a little bit. I mean, trying to wrangle nine people at the beach, and half of them being teenagers, it wasn't like. I mean, I did do a few lives on Bold and Brazen because we had some stuff there, but it was definitely like, I couldn't say, "Oh, tonight at six thirty, if you guys don't mind, we're gonna do a li like." No, because no. you never knew what you were gonna do at six thirty. No, evening. we we had fun. We went um we went go kart racing. Oh, we don't cool. normally do that. It was my sister's fake birthday. Um, her birthday was on the 21st and she woke up last Tuesday, which was not the 21st and went, I'm having my birthday today. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So, um, they went on a ropes course, a, like three hour long ropes course. And we went on go-kart rides. I didn't do the ropes course. I've done that before. Once is enough. Okay. Check that off the bucket list. <laughs> done. Um, but it was very fun. And I don't know how you guys, Oh, Janet's here. Hello, my dear. How are you? We're playing with Dixie Bell. Yay. <laughs> um, Reentry is a bitch, though. Oh, into the normal routine? Well, you get really excited because I personally, when I'm on vacation, try not to do the day-to-day, -day, like, okay. like pay the bills or do the books, that boring stuff. I try to ha kind of have the big picture, like what's going to happen this year for Tango Woodworks? What's going to happen in the next five years? Like that's your time to like get out of the minutia. As Martha Stewart said, it's time to stop with the microscope and put on the telescope. Okay. I think that's really smart. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got your camera lens, you've got your microscope and your telescope and you need to kind of switch between them. And I think the beach is when you put on your telescope and you look far and wide. But then the problem is you get, I got all excited about all these things I want to do this year and promotions and events and classes. And then you get back and you got to do all the damn bills. Yeah. And, and you got to clean the house and, and your ceilings leaking um, and there's a bucket of water and so reality, <sighs> reality hits. hits, but I am happy to be back and happy to be with you guys. Lisa, hi from New Hampshire. Rock on Lisa. Thank you for joining us. We're very happy to have you here. So for those of you who are new, we have a lot of new people, so we should tell them. So this is the new Sue review with Tess. With Tangle with Sue and Accidental Agnes 2. And we sing, we dance, we DIY, <laughs> and we drink, which we've already been doing. And every Friday, cheers to you. Oh, you're still, you're on your second one. Yes. Well, I, I poured it. Oh, okay. Um, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the blood orange. It's summer. We can drink froofy wheat beers they have fruity names but blood orange they i still love just taste i just beer. i love citrus and beer i just do um so every friday night we come on here except if i 
Or out of town? Uh, or out of town, or you get a better offer. Please oh. don't get a better offer. I haven't gotten one yet. Okay, me either. Okay, <laughs> so we come here, Nova Scotia. What the hell? <laughs> Hi, Wanda. That's so exciting. Yeah, it is. We're, we're wow. reaching out into the world. Um, We're becoming global. Woo! <laughs> Wait, what's that Spinal Tap thing? That line from Spinal Tap, like, we're big and... I don't Another know. country. Uh, oh, God, I'm totally screwing it up. But anyway, we're big in Britain or something like that. It was very funny. Um, I'll get the line. It'll be funnier when I get the line. But anyway, we come in here and we try to teach you something every Friday that is useful and fun or just a little tip mm -hmm. um, or trick that we can teach you. Um, I do have one plug uh, that I, I do have to say because okay. Bold and Brazen with Tanglewood Sue and Accidental Agnes 2 is now open. And that is our private creative group yes. where you get a lot of this right here. I mean, we come into your living room, into your bedroom, into your kitchen. Right. And into your wherever bathroom. You let, you wherever know. you let us in. But basically, <laughs> where, basically it, is, it is a full month of one topic. Hello, Lauren from Gaithersburg. This is, wow, I'm very... Very local exciting. and international. Local and international. Um, but basically, Bold and Brazen, you guys, uh, is open right now. It's open for five days. We haven't opened up membership in four months. And we're doing it now because we're ready for new members. Because I think we know finally what the hell we're doing. Yes, we have a better grip on it. That's for sure. Yes, we're not perfect. We are not perfect. And we don't, we don't admire perfection. That's you true. more than me. but Well, then, um, that's probably just rub off from my day-to-day -day job okay yes I -R -S. Ah. anyway so um i want to invite you guys to join uh i'm going to put a link under this video tonight so you can see more about it but if you like this and you like learning from us and you want edited videos and more in-depth videos and a creative group of a lot of people like us uh we invite you to join okay mm -hmm. so tonight we want to talk about these new stencil rollers we got in. Yes. Um, I think a couple weeks ago we did the stencil, which was a positive image, right? The stamping rollers? Was stamping. it the blue The blue stamping rollers from Artistic Painting Studios with Jennifer Ferguson. Yes, you I've got it. I've been practicing. It. I've been practicing the name. Um, those are stamping rollers where we're putting an image on top. Right. So what are we doing today, Miss Agnes? We are doing a negative image. We're pulling back. We're pulling back. Okay, so uh, we've created some boards today that are dry. Yay! Yay, Sue, remember to paint the boards. Okay, we were actually Agnes painted prepared. the boards. <laughs> we did. Well, after being completely unprepared for the last class, uh, we weren't unprepared. We just thought it was going to dry sooner. Yeah, we did. So we're doing a resin experiment in Bold and Brazen that we thought we had it timed perfectly, but it didn't finish. So we're going to go back live after this and finish. Um, okay, so what should we do first? We, okay, we have four patterns. Options? We have four patterns available. Okay, show them the patterns. Let's show them these. Now you can order these straight from my website. Um, or you can come into the store and get them, but um, they are sold, um, as I said, from Artistic Painting Studios and also sold from us. And how much is that one? $26. So these are great for furniture, mm -hmm. art. If you guys are doing kind of impressionistic art or mixed, mixed media of any kind, would you do an entire uh, bedroom? I might. Would you? Okay. Yeah, but if I would I do did, a bathroom. I would do a bathroom. I would do I was I was watching one of Jennifer's lives the other night. Okay. And she's got some new possible patterns that she's going to introduce. Okay. And I told her I said, you know, and it's of these particular um, It is those? Okay. The Foey rollers. And this is the artsy leaf. Are they Foey rollers? These I thought are, it was Foxy rollers. It all depends on how you pronounce F A U X Y. Okay. Foxy. It's Foxy. Foxy Rollers. So, um, yes, yeah, so you want to make sure it rolls really, spins really fast. Okay. So, I told her that I would probably want to use some of the new patterns that she might introduce as stamping rollers instead. So, you can use this as a stamp? 
Yes, although you need, what you need is a converter bar. All right, I'll so show you guys. You take this off, you attach it to the converter bar, and then the other But this is hard. So here's what I don't understand, and I want, I want them to understand because I think you've done this more than I have actually. This is hard. Yes, it is. This and is that it allows us to pull the paint, the clay, or the texture medium off. Right. But it also will stamp on there nicely. Yes. Okay. You heard it here. Okay. So this is what we have. We have the leaves. I would do an accent wall in a room. Yes, Lauren, I think so too. Like I think an accent wall, I think uh, a powder room, Donna, would you think? Yeah, I mean a small space. The beauty of these is that you don't have to match it up. It's kind of a random pattern. Right. And also, Agnes and I have done a lot of work where, we, where we've where we done the stamping rollers where we've gone this way, this way, this way, and it looks really cool. Right. Um, so tonight, That would probably be one of those where you could go random. Yeah, totally, with the leaves. All right, show them the other. What else are we going to try tonight? This is a, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's more of a modern. It looks to me like beads. Yeah, I like that. So what would worry me about that, I think I could do it, is could we, can you get it straight? Because that one would show. Like, this one's not going to show. Right. So I would say pick your roller based on your ability to go in a straight line. Kind of. Now that one's cool. This is a crackle pattern. I thought that was crocodile. No, the crocodile's the other one. Oh, hold on. Let me hold that up. Okay, so, oh, wait. So show me the difference. Oh, okay. So that's crackle, and this is crocodile. Crackle, crackle? crocodile. Crocodile. Okay. So... So if you guys, so the key with these is instead of putting, Nick, what do you want to do? Crackle or crocodile? Um, so the beauty of these is that you can create a texture. So when you lay on a stencil, mm -hmm. it's pretty flat. Mm -hmm. But if you pull back, you get a layered depth, which then leaves, Lauren likes the leaves. I like the leaves too. When you pull back, it leaves, um, what am I trying to say? A place, a groove for you to put in waxes and get into the nooks and crannies and age it. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing too. What would you say the benefit of this is over the reverse? Do you have a preference? I haven't really played around with, the, with this as a negative okay. application yet, but... Um, I could see, you know, like one of the things that we're going to try tonight, we painted one of our boards a go with the golden ticket. We did. And so we're going to paint a different color over top of that and then pull back with one of these rollers and see what, it, see right. what happens. Right. Because if we were to do the opposite and paint it the color and then do the golden ticket on top, it would be, um, it would, it wouldn't be as, uh, deep as clear it would be kind of a little bit washed off right 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 so this we can get kind of the pure and then we're going to pull and reveal underneath they're both fun i mean it's just it's just what you're doing and what kind of experiment you want to do so i was thinking we'd start with the blue and the paint that we're going to use tonight we're going to do a couple things we're going to use we're going to start with debbie's design diary on except top. Okay, oh on wait top. wait go ahead and show so that blue is this Dixie Bell paint, and it is called Cobalt Blue. Cobalt. So you guys, this is our new paint. Um, we are not leaving Debbie. Absolutely not. But what we love about Debbie and what we love about Dixie Bell is that they don't make us choose. Right. They don't make us choose between them like some other brands. Right. Not to be named by name. Um, we are artists. We are creatives, we are entrepreneurs, we're rule breakers. We like to mix and match and we like different things for their different properties. To be told, you have to kind of stick with one way. I say the highway. Hmm. Wasn't yeah. that funny? Yes. Okay, so well, we're mixing and matching. I really wanted an intense, intense, actually you picked the blue. Yes, so I did. So we wanted an intense color here. And, but we're gonna go over it with Debbie's. Now why, do you know why we're doing Debbie's on top? It's a trick question. Is it because it has more tooth? Yes. Good answer, Agnes. I get a gold star right she in does. the middle of my forehead. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can do this. 
All right. We're going to paint this. Okay. I'm going to drop this down just a little bit and see if we can get a little closer. We're going to, you, can you start painting this for me? Uh, what color? Uh, I think we decided we were going to do the gray. What, didn't you want to do the, no. I wanted to. Oh no, this was going to be the, um, texture medium. Be the texture medium. Did you find the wipey for that? No, I did not find the, the trowel. Okay. Then let's start with the metallic. And we'll do the boho blue over that. Okay. And I'll go find the trowel. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with the metallic. And Agnes is going to start getting that on while I go find the other. Where could our trowel be? If I can't find it, I can make do. Where's the brush? What'd you do with the brush? Oh, I washed it. She washed it. Again. We keep using the same brush over and over. And on that blue, I had painted this gold board first. And I didn't I didn't wash the brush before I painted the blue one. So you have to look really hard, but if you look at the blue one up close, you can see some little gold flecks in it. It looks really pretty. Cool. Alright, so we're using Bohemian blue, right? Don't do what I did in the last class. Debbie's Design Diary, I Bohemian Blue. Resin everywhere, so trying to show it to the camera. Paint that over. Oh, I was going to tilt that down a little bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, gold. All right, now we need to be kind of thick, right? So, or not. Um, well, considering it's paint and not texture medium, it probably doesn't really matter too much. Okay. All right. How's that? Probably Are you pretty good? Go a little Is that good? Thicker than I normally would, but... All right. Excellent. That looks great. I think we should do... So which one do you want to do on this one? You're painting, so you get to decide. Hmm. I kind of want to try either the crackle or the uh, the modern bead looking one. Well, let's do half and half. Okay. We can do that. And we do this wet. That's we right. We want the underside dry. to come through. We're getting so much better. I mean, just remembering to paint them like an hour ahead of time instead of 10 minutes. So they can dry. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Have a great day. So I would say let's get um, put on a little thicker so we have full coverage. That's a little bare right there. So these are just sample boards, you guys. We highly recommend um, doing sample boards, testing out what you want to do before you just jump in. We might even practice what we preach sometimes. Occasionally. Sometimes, yes. You know, you can tell she's a mom because, you know, do what I say, not what I do. I'm going to put on, this is my new shirt, Agnes. I'm putting on a, you've got a paintbrush in your hand. So I'm putting on an apron. <laughs> Look at her. Show them your hands. Show them your hands. <laughs> that was just painting a board, Agnes. That's well, all it I did was. smear it on. It, it was, was just, just a few. painting a board. Right. Well, you know, you. from okay, a few I'm, weeks ago, I got blue paint on my I'm shirt. I'm putting this on because my mom just bought me this shirt. <laughs> Nick says, I'll give you a brush just for you. Ha. <laughs> Karen Jane is on. All right, you guys. September 8th. All right, hold on. Let me get it a little bit. September 8th, Dagsboro. Be there or be square. All right. I'm going to hold this steady for you. All right, you guys. Here she goes. Can you, are you at a good angle? I hope so. I'm not pressing hard enough, though. I think I moved. All right. Okay. So the beauty of this, actually, let me see it. Oh, it's cool, though. All right. So. <laughs> well, at least you're wearing an apron. Just... 
<laughs> okay. Um, all right, can I try? You want to do it? Okay. All right. We might have to put this down because our easel isn't like, um, isn't like uh, Jennifer's because if you push on it, it might push back. Okay, so let me go. Okay, let's see. Give me some. Give me some. Well, I'm also doing this left-handed. We could not have done this in a more awkward manner. Oh no, it's coming. Oh. All right. You can roll it there. Oh, I love it. Okay, look at it, guys. What do you think? Hello. We are so excited. Agnes and I are getting all ready. I would say paint over that side and you do yours again. Okay. And I'll try to hold it better for you. You know this what I time. might do? What? Is, um, use the brush and go back over it to clean it up. Oh, okay. And then start over. Jean, why are you watching from home when you're right down the street? Okay. All right. I'm going to try to hold this. Why don't we get a real easel? Do you want to do that? Wait, wait, here. Okay. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it tight this time. Okay. Go, girl, go! Oh, it's a little, I'm a little crooked, but. <laughs> go from the bottom up. Paint it again. Go from the bottom up. I think that's better. It might be. If not, we can turn the camera down. Paint it back blue and go crazy like you're rolling. All right. I think Nick wants you to go. Hold on. I want to hold it tight. All right. I'm, I got it. I'm okay. tight. I'm tight. The problem is I'm tight on the board, but I can't be tight on the actual roller. It's still at an angle, but so you know. Do this for me. All right, so I think that if you're actually doing this on a wall that didn't move, right, like me, it would actually really work. Try go over it a few times and see what happens lighter, like with the design. Like like at an angle or at the same. Whatever. Try different things. Just see what happens. What if? Uh, Karen, we're so excited. We're going to have such a party. Have you warned? Have you warned whoever we're staying with about us? Nah. Do we need to be on good behavior? Nah. Try going sideways, maybe. That's the but advantage to having I'm wet paint. I'm liking this. That's the advantage to having wet paint, though. I'm sorry. I probably should have set you no. up a better, a better um, way of doing this. Nah. Here, let me try it from this side. Yeah. All right, you guys. So, the goal with demos is to show you how easy things are. Let's try. Okay. Apparently, the B. And pattern. that is why we <laughs> are different than everyone else. What? What am I doing? We're going to use this the leafy. One? Yeah, we're going to use okay. the leaf one because that bead one isn't working. It's not. It's pushing. I don't think so. Ooh, I like it. Do you like it? Yes. So, and then what you can do, so if we wanted to, is you can, you can go over it. I just wanted to show them that you can kind of mix up the patterns there. Let me hold it up. All right, so you can kind of crisscross and get different patterns, but if you guys could see in here, we, you really are getting the gold coming right through there. Yeah, I think out of all of them, I like the crackle the best. Yeah, I do like that too. I want to try the bead one again. Okay. I just want to maybe, see. Maybe we should try doing it with it um, down. With it down. All right, how about this? You bring up the next piece and I'm gonna practice this on, on a level surface and then I'll show them my result. All right, that would be the, the blue. The blue, is this where we're gonna, I thought we were gonna try to do the texture medium on this. You're absolutely right. So the green? Sure, yeah. Look at this green. So that is Dixie Belle, right? Yes, it is. What's the Dixie color? Bell Limeade. Limeade. There we go. All right. 
I'm. What do you think, Donna? Oh, do you want me to? You want? What color do we want to put on top of it? Uh, let them vote. It just has to be a DIY color. Okay, guys. What color would you like to see on top of this green? This is the one I had brought out, but that might not be enough. She contrast. was thinking. Yeah, she was thinking of this. I think it's old fifty-seven. And I'm like, eh, it's a little too close in color. I want something a little more contrast, but that's me. Okay, I'm that, game. But this is up to you guys. What do you want? Do you want something with a little more contrast, or do you like that old 57? We also have a, a prairie gray out. And that blue, I think, would look really pretty with this. That cobalt blue. But that's Dixie Belle. It's not DIY. No, we do need to do, um, we do, it, I don't know that it would, we can try it later, but I do think we should do it with Debbie's because thicker is better for this process. Right. Okay. What about we, a... We have prairie gray. We, we have, have prairie gray. We have the golden ticket. That's a little too... No, that's not going to be... Um, not enough contrast. Yeah. Or is there another color of De Debbie's DIY that you'd like to see? Mermaid tail, somebody says. Okay. Oh, okay, let me that. go look for that. It's in the squeeze bottle. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm getting this to work on a surface. I'll show you guys. Oh, bad TV, Agnes. We're both off. We're both off screen. <laughs> All right, here. All right, so this does work, um, but you really do need to have it flatter and we'll let this dry and then show you but I, I agree I think the crackle was kind of a better look but I could totally see this on um, on a piece of furniture what do you think I do too here's what I want to show you this is now loaded up with paint so while she's over there I'm gonna show you guys something this is just another um, so this is, this is, I'm almost positive there's an open mermaid tail, but I'll get it. Um, well, not in the squeeze bottle. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna. So there you go. Look at that. I think I like this better as a stamping roller. Hello, husband. Agnes, what do you think? I didn't have it fully loaded. This was just the offload. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that too. So you guys, I'm gonna vote. Karen Jane, Mermaid Tail. Do I not have it there? I tried to clean it out today. Yeah, this just, it's just it. cleaner looking. Oh, or Boho Blue, blue she says. Is, it? is this it? No. Was it sea glass or something? Here, why don't we do, do the Old 57 and mix with Boho. Okay. There we go. Just, um, we'll solve that problem. How's dinner coming, honey? Are you watching us <coughs> while you cook? Or are you at the pool? <laughs> I'm mixing them. Because I want to dry something different than boho. Okay. Y'all know how I roll. That's pretty. I think that'll give us a nice contrast there. If you want to start this, I'll keep looking for that. Oh, here, I probably want to go this way. All right, so we're gonna, now this has a little texture on here. You painted the beadboard side just to give us a little challenge, huh? Yeah. Yeah? That's fine. I'll take your challenge. And raise me what? <laughs> blue and this side kissing booth. Oh yeah. I think that'll work. So as as our gal likes to say, Jennifer likes to say, it, it, the the Debbie's has more tooth. And that's what allows these rollers to kind of cut through. Did you have a question, Miss Jan? I'm just gonna close it up. Oh clean. yes ma'am. Go for it. I'm gonna go with Yep. I need to I don't want to mix these two colors, but 
Here, if you put, don't mind. Pour it in there. And then there you go. Perfect. Alrighty. Oh, there's the. Why did I think it was bigger than that? We all think it's bigger than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, that's going to give us some nice contrast. It's almost going to look a little purple since I didn't clean the brush, but that's okay. Ooh. Yeah. I think you're teaching a blending class, Agnes. I'm just going to be down here and catch all the paint you drip on. There you go. Nice. All right. Ta-da. Ta-da. All right, can I do leaves on my side? By all means. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try good. leaves. Can you read, read Nick's um, question? Nick's, mm -hmm. Could you mix the paint with a plaster of Paris, then apply that with the roller to the wall? Oh, that is looking so pretty. Digging it. Wow. <laughs> so here's what happened. Wow. You've got the two tones in there. And also I had it on here. I had a little bit of blue left on this. All right. Let's write this down, someone. We need a better easel. All right. Your turn, Agnes. Hmm. Which one do you want to do? We haven't done the crocodile yet. Okay, I'll try to hold her steady. Are you doing that? May I turn this back on? Oh, absolutely. Do whatever you need to do. <gasps> Love it. Look at that. Okay. I like the crocodile. That is so pretty. And I like how that's so cool. So we've got kind of different colors in there coming through. I mean, it's not like a bright green coming through. Yeah, it looks almost like yellow. But it is on, now I wonder if that's because your thing is not dirty in any way and I rolled it through with one that already had blue on it. Paige, hello my darling. I think we're gonna do another Bold and, Bri Bold and Brazen video after this since we failed to finish the first one. I like it, all right, so can you, if I hold it, can you fill in and show them what happens when you overlap it? I know, it's awkward. It's as awkward as eighth grade, man. I kind of like it. You've got um, kind of the blue coming through. I can just see a lot of ways to play with this and mixing and matching patterns for sure. Um, so, now I haven't seen how she cleans these. She does she clean them in between though? Because it seems like we're getting we, you, you an could, offload. You could, like maybe with a damp paper towel or, All right, or something. I'm gonna try this again. Um, I just, for the sake of argument, can you repaint me pink on my side? I'm gonna wash mine off. Do you mind? I'm gonna, I'm just like, going to get this off so that I'm not offloading blue. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I keep falling into this resin. I don't know about my resin idea. I'm starting to regret my choice of project today. All right, so I've wiped this off. What I would probably do is have a bucket handy to just dip in as soon as I go through. And that's the other beauty of using Debbie's DIY. She did baby wipes. Patty says she uses baby wipes. Oh, okay. I have alcohol wipes. No, yeah, that's true. I have some baby wipes somewhere. Right um, here. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing more of the green come through doing it this way. But I also really like the way 
See, I went right over it. I don't think it looks like, um, you can criss, yeah, I'm really digging the, the way you can crisscross these. What do you think? Oh, yeah. You guys like? Okay. Oh, I think we might, I think we're onto something. So that was, oh God, what was that? Boho blue with old 57. With old 57 with kissing booth on top. <laughs> trying to get our color. That's how you recreate the color. Don't clean your brush. <laughs> and the base coat was Dixie Belle Limeade. And Limeade underneath. I, I have to say, I'm not seeing the Limeade, I'm seeing the Limeade pop with the blue, but I'm not seeing it pop. I think it, how do I put this? I think it's a happy accident. I think it's really nice with this, uh -huh. but I wouldn't say that I'm seeing lime. Right. Would you agree, Donna? Yeah. 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 But it's more, it seems more like kind of a faded, um, because like a faded um, burlap or something. Cause like, but it might've been, see, oh, actually, what do you think about that? Oh, I like that. So you could even kind of, you know, if you were doing a piece of furniture, you guys, and you're like, wait, but I want that color underneath, you could, you could kind of bring it out around the edges a little bit more if you wanted to there we go that's kind of cool you need a spray bottle a spray bottle with water would be great for oh this. I just wiped it all off I accidentally wiped off Dixie no, I mean on the on the rollers themselves oh okay to clean. All right. I think I think the the Debbie's went through and the problem with these boards is that they're really slick yeah and so um, even though that was dry it came off all right so I think we've shown you this which you can take with and now I'm look look just like Agnes so now <laughs> the last one we're gonna show you is using texture medium and what I want to tell you guys about texture medium is that you can um, color your texture medium so we're gonna do it with white but I want to show you what I did where I added color in it Oh really? And how did you add the color? Did you mix it with paint or alcohol ink or what? So this is one we did with, what was that group called again? What's that group that's open now? Bold and Brazen. Was this? Oh, sh shameless plug. <laughs> I'm allowed to do a shameless plug. This is what we did in Bold and Brazen, teaching you stencils. And this is a texture medium, so you can see um, it's raised up, which allowed us to put in all this shading. And I used acrylic paint um, to color the texture medium. Screwdriver. And then I went back and did some highlighting and low lighting with um, a lot of different waxes, which y'all can learn if you become a member of, of Bold and Brazen. We're not old raisins. Right. All right, you ready for me to take this off? You ready for your next your next project, dear? Sure, why not? I need more paint. <laughs> this is why I come back on Saturday and clean up. All right, I found you the little thingy mahooky. Yes, I saw that. Okay. So, this is Dixie Belle Cobalt Blue. Wow. I mean, that is like zing. I love it. Hi, Diane and Jim. Oh, it's Diane and Jim. Are we seeing Diane or Jim? Yeah, but what you need? Un Here's what I do. Unused. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that. What would you like unused? Uh, stir stick. Is that one unused over there? Just to say ah. Uh, oh, wow. This is like frosting. It is like frosting. Don't eat it like last time. I didn't. I've never eaten it. I know. It's like that. Yeah. Jennifer was talking the other day about how it's like that marshmallow fluff stuff. Uh, that is exactly what this is like. It is. No, it's really nice. So, maybe so in answer to Nick talking about the Plaster of Paris, Nick, the problem with Plaster of Paris is it, um, you don't have enough working time. It's really best to use these um, texture mediums that are designed for doing faux finishing on walls.
because it'll take a long time for this to dry and that allows you to play with it to mess up a few times not that we need that yes, we do. We need it. Um, to get it just right if we'd done this with plaster I don't know if you guys saw my live of me doing plaster on my staging wall that was a hot mess. We were like running because the pla plaster gets old. Plaster of Paris gets old. So we were like mixing it with water. And like by the time we ran from the bathroom <laughs> to just get it on the wall, it was already hardening. And my poor assistant, she's 19. And we were like, just get it on there. Um, it turned out awesome until it didn't. It actually now looks like a real Venetian plaster wall because it's completely falling apart. Um, you're doing a nice job. Maybe you missed your calling as a baker. Maybe. Baker, baker, cake maker. I do like baking. I just... My son likes to bake, but it's... he doesn't clean up. It's just hard when it's only one person. Hi, Sue. Where are you coming in from? I'm seeing some new faces today. That makes me so happy. We love meeting new people. Do y'all remember when it was like, ooh, can you really connect with people online? Can you really experience a class like online? And now it's like, people come into the shop, they're like, I don't have to come in, do I? <laughs> I'm like, no. They want it online. Nicely done. Okay. So the idea with the texture medium, as I said, you could, you, you can make this any color you want. Um, you can also kind of swirl it around like you don't have to make it perfectly smooth you can kind of go crisscrossy yeah what what roller what rollers are we gonna do I think you should do half and I should do half what do you think that's a good uh, that's a good question um, here watch your hand I just stuck some on there right under your hand thank you here I'm get this side since I'm those, ooh, it's kind of smelly. Is it? A little bit. It's okay. So we have, I would say we have at least like a half hour or so to work with this, unlike Plaster Paris. Um, and Jennifer has some, what does she call them? Her, her um, these are Bondo scrapers. So what does Jennifer have that's really she good? She has Japanese trowels. Yeah. And she has them in several different sizes. Right now, I I've, I've seen the little mini trowel that she has. I wonder. Can I order them? It would be them? great. It would. Yes, you can. Okay, I'll get uh, some in, guys. It would be great for a small project, but for something maybe even this big, you would want something a little larger. No, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so I'm gonna do mine a little, so we have com contrast. I'm kind of doing a skim coat, so I have a little bit of texture underneath my texture what do you think okay and then okay I need to touch up that little spot right okay. there. okay here let me show them all right so I'm kind of doing a crisscross pattern where the blue is kind of showing through Michigan you're gonna have to pronounce that for me <laughs> I'm joking she's gonna be sitting there going that's how you say it Ypsilanti is that it Ypsilanti there's a T yeah, I know. I just you know, oh, it's are a you familiar? Thing. Oh wait, this gal Nandita is saying replay. Nandita, we're still live. <laughs> You're stuck with us. You can watch this again, though. She probably came in midway through, and she's gonna watch the replay. I'm yeah. just being silly. All right. Um. Oh my God, I just fell into the resin. Okay. You know what's really great to wear when you're doing a DIY? This. <laughs> this. How dumb is this? I wanted to look nice because I was doing three lives today, but I didn't think about that. Never mind. Okay. I want to do crocodile. Oh, that's over here. Oh, no. There we go. I wiped it down a little bit. So oh, thank you, you. How do you color the resin? You can, uh, good question from our studio audience. Use how acrylic, do you, yeah, okay. how do you color the resin? You can take acrylic paint. I like to get tubes. I go right down to Artists and Craftsmen or any art supply 
okay? Um, I don't think Home Depot or anything, an art store, mm -hmm. and get the tubes of acrylic. Mm -hmm. They're higher in pigment. You want things higher in pigment. You can mix paint, but the paint has a lot of water in it, and it's going to make this watery. If you put the pigment in, you just need a squirt or two, you get a really intense color. She was asking about the resin, though, and not the texture medium. What is, what is this? This is, this this is the texture medium. Texture medium. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go for it. Okay. Do you do the same thing with the texture medium? Yes. Oh, the resin you you, you do with alcohol inks. <gasps> Look at that. It crackles. How'd I do? Nice. Bye, Karen. I'm gonna go, and so if you miss a spot, just go back over it. This is the resin. Oh. Okay, now here's what, here's what, um, all right, you get to do your side. The thing that, um, this is actually working really well. If it starts to slide, it means you're pushing too hard. If you push it and it slides, but then just, that's why this is great to work with. Let me show them up close real quick and then I'll, I'll have you go. And then you have, this texture. We actually went on pretty thick. You probably don't need to go on that thick. Um, but you can. And then when it's all done, when it's dry, you can go you can back just and sand, sand it. it. You can sand it down. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Okay. I'm gonna try to hold it. I, I think oh, I was gonna I think I slid a little bit, but I think it's more about going at a ninety degree angle instead of but I don't know. Try it again. Instead of pulling it, I think try to go more like at it and pushing down, if you can. I know I'm, it's hard on this easel from hell. Yeah, it's hard for being short too, I think. I'm gonna use that as oh. my excuse. Do you wanna do it on the table? Uh, no. I can tilt the camera down. No. Okay. She's, She's, a, trooper. Trooper. She's a trooper. Okay, all right. didn't apply as much pressure. I think it came out a little better. Yeah, I think so. You know me, I'm heavy handed. Now the only thing I'm noticing, to be perfectly honest, is that was some crazy electric blue. And we're not seeing much of it. I know. What do y'all think about that? I'm not sure I'm too happy about that, but it's well, good to know. I'm gonna try, I wanna go less. I'm gonna try mine again and go less. I'm just saying that I think this is, this is super fun. I'm gonna put less on here, but it might be that this is a way that you get a, a less pronounced composition. Like maybe, you know what I mean? I'm, I, here, I took about this much off because I wanna see what happens. I'm gonna off roll this. I like going up. You go down. I, I like going up. I'm gonna kinda go off the side and put pressure on. Okay. All right, I'm seeing more blue. I'm seeing it more now. That, um, don't you think? Was that brighter? Yeah. This this would be for a wall. Yeah. So another thing that you could do is let's say it you could wanted be to on do furniture as well. Yeah, you could do it on furniture. But if you wanted to do a Venetian plaster wall and kind of have that, what I have done is just use this, like, and just do a little bit, like, just kind of a little bit of definition in there. Like here, I'll show you. This is fun to kind of keep doing and redoing. I do have to say, Are you, what do you do? You want this? No, and that's, okay with Nick, them. this is why this one, so let's say you wanted to do your wall, you painted this, you got a little bit of dye in there, and your wall was like this, okay? Kind of a skim coat, aged wall, and then you just did, you know, you didn't go all over. You just call up, they're called fossil walls. I learned that. 
I'm in the in crowd now. So if you wanted to, you could use this technique to do a funky Venetian wall, have multiple layers, and even put paint on it and pull it off. But you don't have to go all the way over. Um, while she does that, I'll show you. Oh, do you need me to hold it, hon? Yeah. Ah, practice makes perfect. Look at Agnes go. It's better. You did great. You did great. And so now, all right, so you're like, okay, so now what? I would say if this were on my wall, I'd let it dry. I'd probably kick it back a little bit. Gail, welcome, my dear. Um, I'd kick it back a little bit, and then I would probably put a wax or a poly on and then shade. Get in all these little nooks and crannies, maybe a blue wax or something like for me, and this is part of what I teach in what's that group? <gasps> is it bold and bold and brazen? And brazen? Um, I teach layers. Layers, 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 layers. Um, here's what I did. Now this was just playing with coloring. So this is the Venetian plaster that I colored with paint. Um, so you can see the bright colors you can get, and I kind of did this skim coat of this. Is that loud? Is that annoying? Um, but this is basically just doing what we're doing, like moving back and forth. So if any of you want to do kind of an aged Tuscan wall um, with a rainbow, <laughs> probably not a rainbow on the Tuscan wall, but I like to add different colors right into this. Um, we have one more. What's the time? Donna, time check. Um, uh, 725. Do y'all want to see one more? We already went past our 45 minutes. Yes, we did. One it's more? It's up to them. It's up to them. We still got a bunch of people on there. What's the vote, folks? What's the vote? All right, here's the, here's the project that we didn't get to. This is coated with... Foil adhesive. Foil adhesive. We're going to put crazy blue foil on here and then kick it back. What do you think? You want to see it or you want to save it for another day? Let's start. Um, I'll go get it just in case. I don't think we can do the skim on it. Save it for a rainy day. Did I bring the blue over? Uh, I think you might have put it in the cabinet with the other foils. Oh, geez, did I clean up? You were trying to probably save time for later, right, unless it's in here. Our, maybe that's our hint. All right, we'll save that because that's a whole other process. Uh, well, Patty says yes, do okay, it. Patty. And then Gail Lopez says, do it. Okay, do I it. can't say no to that. I right, see it's a, a piece roll of, of turquoise bright foil. Look on the floor, dear. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. She found it. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to do this. Are you ready? All right, let's put it up there on the chopping block. Was that peaches and herb? I think so. <laughs> I should be singing Rita, but nobody can sing Rita. No, All right, so this is the me. other thing we get from Jennifer. It's the foil. So, are you ready? We're gonna, let's just put it right on there, right? So this is just, um, this is my artwork. So it's, it has a to be a it's a wave. Let's see let's how see. it swirls. It's a wave. <laughs> They say that your drawing ability for most people stops at age six. <laughs> oh, no wonder. It's not terrible. All right, but we're going to go over it. This is my uh, stream of consciousness painting. I just started going like that. All right, so we already put this on. Right, I did do this the right way, didn't I? Let's go. Oh, that's smart. Are you going to do that? I thought it might help. All right. Oh, where do you get the foil? Um, we sell it here at Tanglewood Works, and we also sell it from our website. 
Is that good? Oh, she's going to go for it. Who knew you could use this sucker for... You know what? I mean, I know we're going to take it off, but this is kind of just pretty. Just it is. This, this. <laughs> I want to take it off. Okay. Okay, ready? It's like, it's like, what did we say? It's waxing like waxing your legs. Waxing your legs. One, two, three. Ooh. <gasps> Look at that. We did good today. Agnes, wow. I think we're improving. And I did it in little circles like the painting. Because how you put your mastic on does matter. It does show. All right. Let me get that last. Oh, I like that. So what color are we going to do over this? Oh, I have no idea. Let's try Dixie Bell green and just see what happens. See if Dixie Bell can be used to do this. That's pretty. Could this be a wall too? Could be. All right, and then if you want to go back and get places, you can always kind of push harder in the places it didn't stick. I put this all over. And this is this is a little bit of what we'll be teaching at Daxboro on yes, September 8th. We're gonna show you how to do this with a stencil. And we're gonna have all this for you to play with. So now see, we've used it all up. All right. Uh, almost all up. Oops. Okay, so now let's try it. Let's try Dixie Bell. I like that. Yeah. Do we need a clean brush or you want to go ahead and use I think we need to remember this this little move. I think this is my move. This is my new move. The smoosh and whoosh. Write that down. Swoosh and whoosh. Okay. You think we need to what? Clean. Yes. Okay. So for once I'm going to say, oh here, I have one. I have a clean okay, one. Cool. All right, you guys. So we're going to try, we're going to see if this works with Dixie Bell. We're blurry. That means that um that means that either my internet is not good or yours is not good. Uh and either way it means we have no control. I'm sorry. Facebook, I kind of hate covering this up, but it's for the sake of art, right? Mm-hmm. And we're going to see if this works better or worse than Debbie's. You go first. You, I went first on the last two. You get to go first this time. All right. Ready? Ready? She's going for the leaves. She's going for the leaves. She's going for the bottom. She's tilted. She's tilted. She's going across. It dragged. And it I... dragged. Okay. Donka sure. All right. We're going again. It dragged again. Dang it. Try it on the table. This might be, this might, this might prove our point that it's better to do with Debbie's. All right, you guys, hold on. Let me tilt you down. Okay. I get all the way on there if you're off the side. Hold on, hold on. It's, um, okay, there we go. Nope. Where's the red coming from? Probably the roller. All right. There's still some, a little bit of paint. Let me see. All right, so I'm gonna say nay. That didn't, that didn't uh, pull off enough. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And it dried too fast. So.
Maybe that's what you're smelling is the Windex. I'm smelling the Windex? I smell Windex, because isn't that what's in the bottle? Oh. Not, not just plain water. Oh, I meant. All right, let's see what happens here when we wipe it off. I, I think we lost the foil. I don't know. Wait, I need I Oh, need no, water. we didn't. We didn't. I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Wait, I had a, oh, wait, give me that spray bottle. Here, let's see if we can save it. Let's see if the foil can be saved. Yeah, look, I'm seeing it. Oh, I saw it already. When you wet distress. This is where this, um, this completely devolves into a complete mess. This is how we learn. I kind of like that. You know what's happening is my, my I think my um, my wave is disappearing yeah. underneath. But you're picking up all the brush, brush strokes. I am. And it's still kind of glistening. You know, it could, I mean, wouldn't be my choice to get at it this way. <laughs> But I could see how we've got some different techniques here that are kind of cool. I like the weathered look. Yeah, with just yes. a little bit of the of the shiny. What do you guys think? Did you like the shiny shiny? Or do you like our new kind of weathered shiny? I think if I'd sealed, oh here we go. If I'd sealed the underneath a little better, we would have gotten a different look. That's kind of cool. All right, this is your bonus. See, I would use this now as a backdrop for something else. You know what I mean? Like now it's like, not what we planned, but what we got. I don't know if you guys can see. So it's still like funky shimmery. Lots of different layers going on there. So what did we, what's the roundup of this? Um, the metallics don't really show through that much. Oh, look at you, spray bottle lady. I wiped, I think I wiped off. I can't tell if I'm wiping off, uh, if I'm, I'm just mushing it or if I'm just mushing it. All right. I think we should let our folks go. All right. All right. So you guys, thank you to our live studio audience. <laughs> Thank you to you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Let me move this out of the way. Um, if you would like more of the Sue and Agnes show, what's the name of that group? Bold and Brazen? Was that it? I think it was Bold and Brazen. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm going to bug you all week. So, because this is, we're, in, we're in open enrollment and we want to get some more of you finding your creative voice. Okay, that's what we're about. We're about playing and experimenting on camera. Paige, awesome. We're gonna do the wave of, do you know what I almost said? <laughs> I can't say it now. Panagala? Kahuna? Yeah, just think the movie Hair, and I was about to say a different word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, where's that beer? Okay, so, but this is what it's about, you guys. It's about like, what if, and let's try that, and let's try the next layer, and it might not be what you thought you were gonna get. But then there's a little nugget, right? Don't you love when that happens when you're like, oh my God, this piece of shit. But wait, I figured out how to make that turn into that, that little piece. And then you take that and you do your whole new piece with that style that you figured out, and then you get to post it on Instagram and have everybody go, how did you do that? How did you Happy figure accidents. that out? No, you say years of practice and experimentation. You don't say happy accident. Well, okay, True. yeah, that's fine. It's For the insiders, you do. Everything's a happy accident. Every art is a happy accident. At yes. least it started that way. And then you finesse it. Did y'all see how straight her lines were at the end? Huh? Go, girl. Practice. Practice. Mike. Perfect. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, 
I've forgotten our song. It's the new. It's the, all right, wait, wait, one, two, three. It's the new Sue Review, coming right at you. Wasn't there another line? With Tanglewood Sue and Accidental Agnes too. We gotta work on our beat. Mwah, love you guys. Bye husband, I'll be home soon for dinner. Mwah.